Hello everyone and welcome back to Chris's collection. Um, this is our last Lego game and uh, from the 360 era and uh, of course you know we're wrapping up uh, the the month of August at the same time so that's kind of fun. Um, but anyway so welcome guys. Uh, so here we have um, Lego Lord of the Rings. Um, kind of funny because I'm currently watching Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm having like a Middle Earth marathon. Finish the Hobbit. I'm going chronological, so I finished the Hobbit. Now I'm going the Rings. Um, it began. This oh, look at that voice acting. This was the first time that I remember they lifted uh, dialogue from the movie and stuck it into uh the game so the games you know they were just um and nine. doing um <laughs> they were just doing like this instead of uh it was a whole this was a whole new ball game lego batman 2 had done you know like they were like okay we're gonna have uh voice acting and original projects and then Lego Lord of the Rings came out, and I remember being so excited that they were adapting Lord of the Rings. Same year, by the way, as when the other one came out. And um, just, you know, uh, totally went a different direction, said, we're going to get all that dialogue and stick it into our game. And uh, I've gotten used to it. I, I obviously do miss the old days. Um, you know, I, I thought it was a lot of fun, but uh, it works. You know, it's not terrible. Um, it definitely works, and it's fun. Um, and uh, I know Lego Star Wars, the new one, uh, the Skywalker Saga, that that one is going to um, do the same thing. They're kind of like, in a weird way, no, I don't want to say the word rebooting, but they're, you know, like, redoing everything. Oh, cool, I get to play as a sealed door? Isildur! Isildur's heir! Kill them! This is so cool. We actually get to play the, the intro. This is so much fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this was, uh, this was pretty cool, you know? It was a fun time. It, it was something different. I, I kind of understand. They wanted to breathe, um, new life into LEGO. They didn't want it to always be, like, the same shit every game. So they're like, look, we're gonna try something new, see if it works. And I think people dug it because they didn't stop doing it, you know? They kept, uh, they kept going, and it was fun, and it was cool. Um, they, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, th I'm gonna give you guys two bonus stories because we're not gonna cover this because it's a digital game. I only cover, um, physical games. But... So, you know, this is Lego Lord of the Rings, so it covers, you know, all of the, uh, the Lord of the Ring games, um, in a really fun bunch, uh, fun way. Uh, and, you know, they did the same thing with The Hobbit, they did Lego The Hobbit, uh, but at the time, uh, it only included, um, the first, uh, two Hobbit movies, because the third one wasn't gonna be you know, it wasn't ready yet, they didn't want to spoil it, and the idea was, they said, we're going to add it as DLC, but if I understand correctly, I don't think the game sold very well. I don't know if this is the story, but it was going to be the first time ever that it was going to be, like, a big DLC pack that, like, added a whole other movie, which is what I think they should have fucking done when, you know, Lego Indiana Jones all those years ago, but they were finally going to do it, just took another console generation. Uh, didn't happen, because they were just like, fuck this, you know, too expensive. Or, I don't know, maybe the game just didn't sell well. I, I can't remember. So what do I do? I can cut this down? Oh. Um, but, uh, you know, I... This is such a weird... Like, 2012 was just a weird... This came out in 2012, and, and I... You know, I the Lego games were kind of like an escapism because I had a lot of I had a lot of family trouble going on uh, at the time. Um, you know, out of respect, I won't say who it is. Though honestly, I think this person doesn't deserve respect. But I'm a better person, so I won't spew. 
But, um, yeah, it was a dark time, man. It was really fucked up, and my wife and I were like, we need to... Well, we were dating at the time. We were engaged. We are like, we need to get the fuck out of here. So th it's crazy to think, because I've been living in my house now for so long, but this was like a year before we were going to move out, and, oh, good God, so much has changed. So these games were escapism for me. They really were. And I was just like, well, whatever. I can get out of here now. <laughs> whatever you want to call it um anyway guys uh i don't want to end it on a down note so i will say this i'll kind of end this on a happier note so this is this is not the last lego game that we're going to cover i i think there's some on ps4 i think and on yeah i think there's some on on xbox one as well but we won't be covering a lego game for a while um you know and this was really the end like the 360 lego games i got all my you know during this generation of gaming i got all of my lego games on 360 and um it was it was like the time where the lego games just were constantly coming out like there'd be like three of them in one year and and i would get you know most of them i think the only ones i didn't get was like lego rock band and stuff like that um i i adored them they were my guilty pleasure i i thought they were just so fun even though it was technically the same thing in every every single entry but i just love the way they adapted the storylines and stuff like that um this game was kind of like the last one where like i got really picky after this uh like i remember getting lego jurassic park uh or lego jurassic world rather uh and lego the force awakens and obviously i'm getting skywalker saga but like i i know i skipped down on a lot they did a lot of the dc ones uh like i know they did a lego dc villains like they they do a lot of original games and i think i've stopped getting the original ones because i just wasn't really like for me the idea is the like i like the lego games that adapt the stories like the adapt the you know in a in a funner way like they get them and they kind of like make them almost like you know pg cartoons or g-rated cartoons or something i don't know i just find them really fun um and endearing uh but after this one yeah this was kind of like the last one where i i was uh i took a step back you know so to say but uh anyway folks uh thank you so much for uh watching and listening if you did and if not it's all good uh next month we're gonna be going back well we're gonna keep going through 360 but this little pit stop through legoville is over <laughs> so no more lego games for a very long time but um yeah we're pretty close to wrapping up um the main 360 games that should be done by october and uh we're gonna be covering connect games also so that'll be like a side thing that we're gonna do after the the main games are done so that'll be a lot of fun but all right, guys, thank you for watching, um, and we'll be back next week with uh, some more Xbox 360 games. All right, guys, take care.